Hey, this is Chad with the XP Realty here in Sheridan and have the housing market update for the month of April 2024. So uh, we've been getting quite a bit of rain, uh, which has been nice. Uh, things are greening up and uh, the mountains surely need it as well. But uh, definitely looking forward to some warmer days as we get closer to summer. And uh, buyer activity has been picking up uh, along with uh, getting some more listings. So uh, we'll kind of dive into uh, the monthly market report here. I got a little bit different view for you, so hopefully uh, this kind of is a little bit more uh, helpful as well. But uh, looking at the, the monthly market reports, um, some notable numbers. Uh, the closed sales were kind of back to where they are, usually around uh, 30 units a month closing. I was at 35. Um, you know, the last uh, few months have kind of been down like it was uh, there in April 2023, around that 25 mark. So um, back up to, to closed sales around that 30 mark. A 13% gain in median sale price there at 410. And uh, average days on the market starting to tick up uh, around that 60 day mark. Um, again, a lot of times those homes that are priced around $350,000 or lower, those are still going pretty quickly within just a couple of days or a week. Uh, some of the other homes you know, that are listed in those higher price ranges uh, still about uh, 60 days on average. Um, active listings are starting to pick up around 100 now. So as we get kind of closer to uh, summer, uh, we'll, get, we'll be closer to probably around 130, 150. So um, lot, seeing a lot more listings that uh, come on the market as well. And uh, normal, normal balanced market is six month uh, balanced market. So we're sitting at about uh, 3.22. So even though we've got more inventory than we did last year, we're still sitting at uh, historic lows. So I'll put together some slides for you. Uh, to kind of go over a few kind of stats that are always important, you know, talking about uh, the, the interest rates. And as you can see here, the feds have not raised the interest rates since September. Um, we, a lot of industry experts have been predicting that uh, they're going to drop rates or cut them a little bit. So um, kind of waiting to see on that. Nobody really knows. Um, you know, the, the key indicators on the interest rates is going to be the, the bond market, the labor stats and um, the inflation. So uh, those are the, the key indicators of whether or not the, the feds are going to be making any moves. But all indicators that we can see from all the major um, industry experts is that uh, interest rates are likely to drop. And worst case scenario, just kind of stay the same. So um, kind of moving forward here. So again, uh, those predictions um, for uh, the rest of 2024 and going into 2025, um, looking for um, those, those interest rates to kind of decrease. And as you can kind of see here, um, had a little bit of a tick up for the lenders um, with the interest rates uh, in the month of April, but uh, here starting in May, things are kind of starting to, to trend down. Okay, so here's um, a quote from Jerome Powell, you know, the chairman of the Federal Reserve, uh, basically saying that uh, they're not planning on any uh, rate hikes. So that's good news for, for a lot of buyers and people looking to get in the market. Okay, and um, so again, there's a 70% a 70 chance that the feds are gonna cut uh, interest rates by September. So um, hopefully that'll, uh, that'll be the case. And, and uh, again, if we get any kind of interest rate cut here in the hot market for um, the Sheridan area, that'll definitely um, put a lot more buyers here in the market and with a short inventory, uh, make things still pretty competitive. Okay, uh, here's an interesting stat is um, you know, your annual monthly payments uh, with principal and interest, you know, you look at 2019 was about a thousand dollars and uh, now we're about double that. So affordability has been uh, a big issue for a lot of buyers and sellers that might be looking to upgrade or downsize or having a hard time, you know, trying to find something to, that will fit their needs. And so a lot of, a lot of sellers are holding off. And so that's kind of contributing to the low inventory as well. So, um, Pretty, uh, pretty staggering numbers looking at, uh, you know, with the interest rates uh, going up as high as they are and, and just the prices of everything else going up, that, um, you know, your monthly payments have doubled since 2019. Okay, so again, we're going to remain optimistic that uh, all the leading experts in the industry are predicting that uh, interest rates are going to be going down to those low sixes. So we'll keep our fingers crossed and, and hope that's the case, uh, make things a little bit more affordable for the buyers. Okay, and um, because of the, you know, the not being all that affordable for a lot of buyers, a lot of the builders are, you know, starting to make a little bit smaller homes. 
So a lot of the first time home buyers and people looking to retire, hopefully make it a little bit more manageable for them. So we're starting to see that not only here in the Sheridan area, but uh, industry wide across the nation as well. Okay, and a couple of things I wanted to share with you guys is, you know, if you're a buyer looking to get in the market and, um, you know, looking at the affordability, everybody needs about as uh, much help as they can possibly get. And uh, there's lots of programs that can help you with the down payment assistance uh, that can help with closing costs. So um, I'll share a couple of great resources here. Uh, you can also talk to your lender. There's a lot of great programs out there. So try to use all the benefits that you can. You know, every little bit helps. Uh, like I said, as, as expensive as things are, and as competitive as things are, you know, if that's the difference of helping you get into a home right away, start building some equity, that can make a big difference. So um, this this is uh, the downpaymentresource.com, and I'll show you this here in a second. But uh, they're um, available for you know any kind of down payment assistance. Uh, you don't have to be a first time home buyer, and uh, they have several programs that uh, could help with some closing costs too. So um, very uh, very helpful if if um, you know you can save a little bit. In, a little bit of money here and there, and like I said, get into a home that, uh, you know, that gives you the opportunity to do that right away. So let me see. So here is the down payment assistance, um, dot com program. So you can kind of go through here, check out uh, all the information for the home buyers and uh, check out the resources and see, see if you, um, you know, are able to apply and, and uh, get those, get that kind of assistance that you need. And hopefully, like I said, that could be the difference of maybe helping you get into a home and save some money. Um, another great resource is the uh, Home for Heroes program, where if you're in any of these kind of service industries, uh, they offer, again, the same kind of help of, uh, you know, help on the down payments, closing costs, and uh, possibly with the interest rates as well. So um, definitely look into that. Um, try to provide all the best resources possible. Again, talk to your lenders. They got all kinds of great packages, too, and try to work with you um, getting the, the best loan package possible. And and if you're one to two, five years out, these are some things that you guys can consider and, and start uh, working towards as well, too. So I'm um, kind of getting back here uh, to the slideshow. OK, so uh, just a couple uh, helpful tips for the sellers. Again, um, especially if you have an older home uh, looking to get in the market at uh, some point, uh, always recommend getting a home inspection so that there's no surprises. You know, that a lot of times there's things that you can't see, like uh, with plumbing, electrical, uh, possible roof issues, uh, things like that. It's always good to get that stuff taken care of. So it's one less thing to worry about when uh, the home hits the market and, you know, you work to close early and then it just takes all the guesswork out of everything as well. So uh, here's a helpful list and I'll have these graphics in the uh, the newsletter as well. So uh, be sure to check that as, those out. But all the preparation that you can do um, in the long run to get your home ready to, to list uh, makes all the difference in the world and um, making your home as presentable and reaching uh, as many people as possible and get the most exposure online as well too. So um, that should be uh, a great resource for you as well. And uh, we have the, uh, the spring uh, buyer and seller guide. Be sure to check that out. Packs a lot of great information there as well. Hope all that information is helpful. If I can help in any way, uh, please feel free to reach out anytime. Take care.